Hello viewers, it's Bears, and in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to record your gameplays with little to no FPS drop. This is extremely beneficial as it uses less resources that will slow down the game, allowing you to have higher FPS. Okay, so the first step is to download the software we will be using to record your gameplay. The software is called MSI Afterburner. This is an overclocking program, but with the latest version, it allows the user to record the screen. So uh, to download it, we need to go on the internet, type in the address bar, event dot msi dot com forward slash vga forward slash afterburner forward slash download dot htm okay so uh, once we get on uh, once we get on the site we'll we'll have to download the software so you click download msi afterburner we click save and you save it to anywhere you want for me i i saved it on the desktop and i've already have it i already have it there so um, I'm not going to download it again just to have it be replaced. So, uh, you guys, you have to download it. Like, if you don't have it, just download it. Yeah, anyways. So, uh, here's the, um, so here's the software right here that you, you, you were going to download. This is it. It is in a zip file. Uh, you need to extract it first. Just extract it out right here. Uh, once you extract it, two files will be extracted. And that would be the MSI Afterburner and the and the MSI Combustor. Both of these are executable files, and I would recommend that you install both of them. But uh, for this tutorial, where uh, the main priority is to get um, Afterburner working to uh, record your videos. Anyways, you double click this. You select your language right here. Select the language. Click OK. Click Next. Agree to the terms. If you don't agree to them, then you won't be able to install it. So agree to them, please. Click next. This is your destination folder. Um, uh, if you uh, th by default, it will be saved on the C drive, your your program files, and in a folder called MSI Afterburner. But if you want to save it somewhere else, let's say uh, a different drive, like a drive D or something like that. Um, that's all. That's okay too. Just uh, click the browse button and uh, browse to the place you want it to be saved at. Click OK, whatever. Uh, click next. Um, click next again. Oh no! Click install. So yeah. Um, just click install. Uh, and uh, I've already got it installed, so I don't want to click it again. If I do, it's, there's going to be an error saying that uh, I'll be overriding stuff that's already running and. It's gonna be all bad, so I'm just not gonna install it because I already have it on. And you, but you guys install it. So yeah, at the end of the installation, uh, there will be a pop that says, uh, "Yeah, finished uh, installing the afterburner." And before you click the finish button, um, check the uh, run MSI afterburner. Uh, what that does is that after you press the finish button, um, afterburner pops up. So uh, yeah. It's just uh, what I'm going to tell you right now. It would be much easier if you have it like that. But if you don't, if you've already pressed finished, um, it's all good. Um, on the uh, on the desktop, uh, there should be a shortcut that says MSI Afterburner. I don't have it because I uh, delete it. And I don't I don't use the, the desktop shortcuts. I'm only using I'm only having these on the desktop because I'm demonstrating how to do it. Mostly, I use the uh, search right here. It says habit right mine. Of mine, so yeah. Anyways, so I'm just gonna start this. Uh, this should pop up after you press the finish. Um, again, this is primarily a uh, an, um, an overclocking uh, program, but the uh, latest uh, version allows you to record. Well, anyways, uh, you click settings on the bottom right here. Uh, on the top, on the top uh, right, uh, you click the arrow pointing to the right. And so you see the video uh, capture tab. We're going to click that. And this lists your uh, video capture settings. 
the uh, this one right here is the button that you'll be pressing to uh, enable the the recording. Um, so let's say um, I'm playing a game, or you know what, I'm recording this video right now. Uh, to start the the recording process, I press the F12 because I said it's F12. And once I'm done, I'm gonna press F12 again to stop this recording so I can post it on YouTube. Anyways, uh, the best the best thing I like about MSI Afterburner is that um. When you, uh, well, when you hover around the, the selections, it gives you a brief description of what they are. It's really helpful, especially when you're a noob to all this. You're new to all this. And yeah, it's really cool. Once you're done setting, uh, save, uh, setting the settings that you uh, want, just click OK, and it should be saved. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it, pretty much. Um, I'll show you some... Uh, gameplay videos of me playing Battlefield 3 like a small preview clip uh, thank you for uh, thank you uh, you guys uh, for uh, watching this video and uh, please leave a comment and bears out